Hello, this is RFX Mars, and the Democratic Party and related leftist slime have just reached a new low. David Brock, who, if I remember right, used to work for NBC, is uh, starting something called Trump Leaks. I'll show you that in a minute. Hillary Clinton ally David Brock is offering pay for new information on Donald Trump, hoping that damaging audio or video on the Republican presidential candidate will be submitted to his super PAC. Brock, founder of Left Wing Media Matters and operator of Correct the Record Super PAC, recently posted the plea on Correct the Record's website and is referring to the project as Trump Leaks. NBC News reported. All right, uh, I switched to NBC News site now when I was screwing up. You already heard this part. We're chasing everything Brack told NBC News. That could be internal documents about Trump's business empire, his tax returns, for some, perhaps something more personal. Correct the record, which is allowed to directly coordinate with the Clinton campaign as no financial cap on what they're willing to pay. So they're just basically they're going to pay people with slime Trump as one of the amounts to. Posting bounty for dirt on political opponent is highly unusual in modern politics and seems to cross new line in the rules of war. We're going to extraordinary links because this is an extraordinary situation. Yeah, you assholes are going to lose power is what you're going to lose. But Brack is no stranger to high profile, high profile stunts. I got a problem with my tongue, so bear with me. Just this summer, he lined up in Donald a stoner and promised to give $5 million to a veteran's charity if Trump released his tax returns. That's not entirely unprecedented. For instance, Penthouse publisher Larry Flint once offered $1 million to anyone who can prove they had an affair with former Texas Governor Rick Perry. Media outlets generally refuse to pay sources for information due to ethical concerns, which doesn't apply to these people because they have no ethics. David Brock has no ethics. And Brock suspects that that's kept potential sources from going public with sensitive information. I understand the prohibition on press paying for stories, but we're not in the press, he said, you lying sack of shit. Paid stories have occasionally had major in political impact. Scandal brought down former Toronto Mayor Rob Ford started with a source trying to sell a video of Ford allegedly smoking crack. Entertainment outlets like TMZ regularly pay for big scoops. Correct the record came up with the idea after the Huffington Post reported that someone was shopping around for a video of Trump attacking singer Barry Manilow, which the news organization refused to pay for. Brock met with the news source and with the video when the video proved unusable, he nonetheless figured out there might be other good videos out there just waiting to be freed little financial grease. These, uh, these scum have no honor, no integrity. The scum, basically. Utter, utter slime. Now I'll show you, this is Trump leaks.
and you have a submission form and they have a bunch of rules down here funny they uh, post their own rules but they don't have any rules of decency or honor or integrity these are slime i don't care i'm calling them what i i call it how i see it these are slime they're no different than some crook uh sitting in prison except they're out there doing this kind of thing. Unbelievable. They don't care about this country. They only care about their power and their money. And Trump's going to bust that up when he gets in. Unbelievable. I'm going to fax some more. Thanks for watching.